and welcome to Remember When with Dean Rodorty, a podcast where I, Dean Rodorty, ask my guests to remember when something happened in pop culture history that's had some sort of effect on them. Before I introduce today's guest, uh, just a reminder that you can now join the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash remember when for the exclusive money, 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 I'm going to give you money on the Monday money pod. I won't. You need to give me money. Um, my children are starving. Uh, you can also buy tickets to The Hindu, which is on sale at the link that's somewhere. It's in all the theatres in the north. Come see it. Thanks very much. Love you. My guest today is comedian Michael Rice. There you go. Are we friendly enough? I could call you Mike. Do you prefer Mike or Michael? It's Mike now because I changed it for yeah. showbiz purposes. Do you think Mike sounds more showbiz? Yeah, Michael. I yeah, I do. Yeah, and Mike Rice. It's like very like it's like two fucking syllables. Mike Rice. But if it's together, it's like Mike Rice. Oh, Do you, I, if I you did an Asian accent there now. I, I did you did? No. No, I, you did. I did a toddler. Mm. My Christ. That's an Asian <laughs> that's woman. An, that's, an that's an old an, Asian woman. An Asian two-year-old. An Asian two-year-old. The best kind of two-year-old in my opinion. Well, they're more disciplined. Yeah. They'll they, let, they'll, oh. Yeah, they'll do the shit you ask them to do. That's right. Or else no dinner tonight. I think they get bet early. They go to bed early? No, they get bet. They get like fucking... Be- oh, beat? Yeah. Bet. Did I, is bet wrong? Definitely not a word is in this context. Is it definitely context. not a word? I think it is if you're going to the bookies. I think, um, I no, I don't gamble. But I do think, I actually did when I was younger, I went through a phase where I was like, I thought I was like uh, J.P. McManus, who's like a big, famous, rich person in Ireland, gambler. And I put a two euro on a horse that was 55 to one. And uh, that my grand uncle had told me, and I won 110 quid. And this was like at like 14. And I genuinely thought... That was. This is what I'll do for the rest of my life. Now. How did you? How did you put the bet on? Surely you're not old enough. Yeah, but we there were there was tricks to be had. There was there was <laughs> ways you could do it. You could did go. Did you walk into a bookies and they let you put a bet on? Well, it was at Goran Race Track, so it was at like an actual race oh. place. And, yes. and they're just kind of like whatever. The you know race what I mean? place. Yeah, they, it has its own rules. It's like its own little society, you yeah. know, little utopia. And I went up a two two quid on this fucker, and he was coming last after the first lap, last dead last. And I was like, this is, I'm not going to win that. Then then it won 110 quid. I couldn't believe it. I was the richest boy in Kilkenny. What did you Kilkenny. do with it? Your huh? money? What did you do with your money? I went to the Chinese. With 110 euros? Yes, I did. What did you buy with 110 euros? Fucking low. I said, give me Feed loads. Feed all of the horses? Give me your children, I said. I <laughs> bought their children. Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have never, one time in my life that I put a bet on yeah. was on my honeymoon and we were on the cruise and there's casinos on the cruise. Right. And there's two things about that. They don't put clocks in there and you can smoke in the casino. Did you like that? Did you like the smoke in there? No. You're I not a smoker. Well, I was. I secretly loved the smell of it, but I couldn't tell my husband because he... He, he, uh, like he wouldn't love you anymore? No. Right. He would have kicked... It he would have w- thrown you over the side of the cruise. It was in our vows. He yeah. was like, if you, <laughs> if you enjoy the sniff of a regal filter again, it's over. That was in our vows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So like I, we wrecked pit a bit. I don't know what we did. Fucking a f- fiver on red is that a thing? Yeah. We just done something like that. Roulette, like yeah. But you could. But you had to walk through the casinos to get. Like they purposely put the casinos in the middle of places you need to go. It's evil. It, they they know what they're doing. Oh, they're nasty. So you walk through, yeah. and there was always just this like Hugh Hefner style fella just there every night with the bitches around him, just like throwing money down. Like he he knew what he was doing. Was he like an old? I think I'm I'm considering like an old guy, like kind of like sun, like leathery, kind of brownie. Yeah. Yeah, skin, wearing white, wearing white, white clothes. Not a drop of cum left in them because they've been draining them. Yes, he is like a prune. Yeah, is Just, his, he's got prune balls. Prune balls, <laughs> Jesus. The old person thing. I knew a girl once, so she was in that world of like shagging out lads for money. Oh, you know? she's a sugar baby. She's a sugar baby. Yeah, and she was like, she she be kind of she be doing other stuff as well. Like she be pissing on lads and stuff. Less than whatever they're into. She got like 400 quid one time. And I asked you before they started, could I say things that say were ron? And that's what I'm doing. <laughs> 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 but she got 400 quid to piss in a fella's mouth. No. What about that? Did she pay him Easy or he money. paid her? Huh? Did she have to pay him or did he pay her? <laughs> <laughs> she, will you take my piss if I give you 400 pounds? It's fucking unbelievable. No, that's, she, he, he paid her 400 quid. To piss in his mouth. Do you know the man? Like not, she's stealing the living. You're not supposed to kink shame, right? But f- what the fuck? Right. Also, that is deep rooted trauma. If you well, want piss in your mouth, yeah, I think. Like I know someone <laughs> who, Say it now. who absolutely hates 
butter and cream and all those sorts of things. I'm like, you've definitely been fingered by a stick of butter when you were a child. Because right. Why would you hate butter? Have to be so, the hard stick of butter because I think <laughs> yeah, it melt once it, it goes winter. up. To be honest, yeah, it was kept outside in the winter time. But she was like, what? Like that's trauma from somewhere. Like if you is. enjoy getting pissed in, in the mouth. I think something happened whereby, or maybe it's just it's 2023 and he identifies as a toilet or something. You know, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's he, not judge. Yeah. Because yeah. it could go there, you know. But like, I I do think there's no, I don't know how that conversation and like that guy has to pay somebody to do it because if you're with a girlfriend, it's hard to go. Like I think with your actual long term partners, that's where the most tame sex is going to happen. If yeah. you're if you're being if you're if you if you let them know your real shit, they're going to put it in the voice. Do you think that you've hidden some stuff that you have some stuff? Yes, yeah, nothing regal filters. <laughs> <laughs> Under the stairs, like Dobby the house up. <laughs> uh, um, no, no, I don't think so. You do, you do, but it's all right. You don't have to tell right. We'll talk about it off <laughs> off camera. I think there's a lot of people. I don't know if you noticed know now. There's a big thing about people being babies. They be in uh, with uh, uh, nappies and they have rattlers Aye. and this whole thing. What do you I think al- of that now? I always say, if you can think it, someone's wanking it. Do you know what I mean? Like that is a thing. There's nothing you can think of that somebody doesn't want to wank to. But you say when you say wank, it sounds like wink. So you're just like someone's dressed as a baby and someone <laughs> <laughs> someone's just yeah. Um, I suppose that's dodgy, isn't it? Because you want to book a baby, so that's dodgy. That you want to book. It is actually dodgy that you would want to book a baby. I think that's famously, I think that's what the Dalai Lama was getting in a bit of bother for yeah. the other day. I think yeah. that was his, maybe that's his fetish yeah. kind of thing. You what did you make of that Get now? that guy's hard, hard drive looked at. Um, yeah. I actually had talked about this with your good friend, Vittorio, because yeah. I thought, was it a cultural thing? Well, do you know what? I think now all that stuff got uploaded to the internet a week after it happened. He's the Dalai Lama. He's 87 years of age. He's been the fucking head honcho for, I don't know, like 60 years or some shit. He and became the Dalai Lama at 27. I think he could have even become, because he's in some kind of sort of a... I say that like I have any context about previous Dalai Lamas. <laughs> for all I know, he's the first guy to be the Dalai Lama. I think that it comes in like you're born the Dalai Lama. Like So he was he was born into it. So his dad was the first, like the old Dalai Lama? His dad, I think, was the old Dalai Lama. Right, right. So, um, <laughs> Daddy Lama, <laughs> Daddy Lama, Daddy Lama. So he, he, so he's been the Daddy Lama head honcho ages, and he's never done this before. So how much of a fucking tradition can it be that he's asking young lads to suck his tongue? But I'm thinking, do you know the way that people say when they're old? Do you ever hear this when you're younger that people are like, oh, I'm going to do heroin when I'm eighty? Yeah, yeah. Why not? What have I got yeah, to lose? And I think, I think in his mind, maybe a child is the heroin of the flesh, well, and he's like, this will be my, this is my. Heroin. It could have done it. Yeah. <laughs> I, this is my theory now. I'm not, I may not, could've I may be wrong. have done it off camera though. That would have been a safer. But it's like Joe Biden. I think like, cause he's so old. I think that's the problem. These yeah. big, like, you know, political figures are like f- famous men and they're so old. Of course they're going to do dodgy shit. Think about your own grandparents. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like they were forever trying to suck him. But you'd be like, way, will you? Yeah, yeah. I'm not a sweet. <laughs> I'm Leave me alone. Yeah, I'm not a Worthers. I'm not a Worthers. <laughs> you're trying to suck my tongue. <laughs> yeah. But so this is, uh, I think as well, like, I don't know if you ever got into like all the Eastern uh, philosophy and all that stuff. No. But like, I think, I know myself, I, I, I meditate. Do you? I, I do, yeah. But I'm going to stop now because I can see where it leads, right? <laughs> Honestly, because I think there is such a thing that you're over that what's you're happened. Over Zen. Yeah, he's overcooked. He's cooked the, the goose. He's overcooked it. Yeah, but I think he's probably doing a wee bit more meditating than you would be. But that's what I'm saying. Don't think like you're in danger of overcooking. But see, this is what I'm saying. Diona, that was a bit of a dig. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I want you to follow my logic on this now because I've thought about this, right? Mm-hmm. So... Uh, I'm thinking these guys who are doing all the meditation, right? So you're meditating, you're holy. And even any of these holy men that are spending a lot of time in silence, doing a lot of reflection, a lot of contemplation, at one time or another, they all seem to come to the same conclusion. And that's that little boys are the cat's pajamas. So what I would say to you is, yeah, maybe we shouldn't be doing any of that. Don't you know? get lost in your own mind. Stay busy, much. stay working in the shop, stay yeah. working at spar, <laughs> stay doing whatever you're doing. Because if you st- keep thinking too long, 
But surely, I think, are they not the sort of people who can access extra bits of their brain that we can't? Do we, we use like 17% of our brain or whatever, and if we could use more, we'd probably be able to fly? I, I've heard this about the flying. Surely that's absolute utter bullshit, is it? Well, I don't know. There was a, do you ever watch Love is Blind? Um, I don't, but I know the concept. There's a, fe- there's a woman, then there's a wall, and then there's a man. <laughs> That's basically that it. it. Well, that's just starting like a woman, Belfast, a man, and, the and a wall. Yeah, it's <laughs> just that's just the what do you call the peace wall? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. yeah so basically, like I, they can't see each other, and everyone pretends to fall in love, and they all get half married or whatever. Yes. But there was a guy on that, like the last series of it, and he was saying that he could, like, have sex with you without you you, t- you touching each other, like you would both jizz. What? Yeah, with just mind over matter. So you could just sit beside each other on the sofa and like make eye contact and just use your brains and use it to both jizz. But that's not safe, is it? What's safe? To have someone like that around. Oh, no, not to have him around, but you wouldn't get pregnant. I suppose you wouldn't get pregnant. That's the good part. But I often think like a guy like... How dare you? I'm sat here pregnant. <laughs> That's so rude. You think fuck you can get pregnant. I'll be honest, and uh, I, I don't envy you. Your, your life's over. But No, it was over two years ago. I have a daughter as well. This two-year-old. Yes, there's a two-year-old in my house. And she's been a nightmare. She's a dictator. Is she? Is it, There's no kindness in her. There's a cruelty. There's a sadness. <laughs> You're very assuming. <laughs> you've, not met, you've not met this poor child. <laughs> she's not getting her t- tongue sucked any day soon anyway. She, um, no, she's grand. She's going through a sleep regression. Do you know what that is? Um, is she not sleeping? She is, but not as not as much as I'd like her to. She does sleep. But I think you can die from not sleeping. Oh, do you know what, Diona? You've you, you, you've you've brought up a very sensitive subject because I swear on my life I have not been sleeping this last month. First time in my life. I've Are been, you saying too busy in the shop? I'm too busy in the shop. There's a lot. There's roles to be made, and someone needs because once I heard about the meditation, I was like, I need to keep working. I'm going to be a pedo. Sleeping? I don't. I tell you this honestly. I think so. I started not seeing a girl. I went on a date with a girl that I like. And then she's been gone on holidays now for a few weeks, but I've been talking to her every day. And oh, I'm you ex- love sex. And I think I'm a bit, I, I think I'm very, because I don't like people often, and I think I might be like, I'm really excited, and, and now I can't sleep. But then, because I can't sleep, I'm going to be like mentally ill, and then it'll how all How many dates shit. have you been on, or how many times have you met up with her? Once. No. I know, yeah, it's you're, mad. You're on. You're the unsafe guy. I know, yeah, yeah. I And, and, and the thing is, I'm never like this, generally, but I think I am. I am a bit uh, out of my mind on this one. I'm just like, I, I, I want to tell her to marry me. By the time this comes out, you might be finished. I, I know. I she, probably will be. So she's away on like a like a social holiday? No, she's gone to South Africa with her, uh, with her family, right? right. So she's or there. so she's told you. So she's told me. She's, prob- she's probably just in Finsbury Park in London. But yeah. uh, she's probably just... She's ha- like, I need to... If, if, see if she's <laughs> still in South Africa in like six months' time, I'd reevaluate. She's probably not interested. <laughs> He's posting old pictures. Yeah, yeah, Instagram. just another, or just stock photographs <laughs> of a tiger. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. But so she, but we've been talking every day kind of thing, you know. And uh, and I just, somewhere in my side of me, I'm like, I think this, now I'll marry this woman. I don't, and I never think this. And I never think this. And I'm just banking she would never be listening to this podcast. But Well, you are underrepresented in this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are misinterpreting my... How, how wide I cast my net, right? <laughs> yeah, well, so... <laughs> so hold on, you've been on one date, you think you're going to marry her. Have you had this discussion? Does she feel strongly about you? Ah, uh, Probably not at all. But uh, <laughs> uh, I, I have nothing to indicate she really feels the same. But we've been talking every day. We had a few phone calls. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that, that's, that means something. That's does not she, nothing. Does she think you're her therapist or something? I don't know. She has been telling me, like, she's been telling me, like, about, like, like kind of boils she has and, and different, maybe she does think there's a medical she aspect. <laughs> she thinks you're her carer? <laughs> maybe she thinks I'm her carer. But, anyway, I think that this might be leading to yes, uh, me not sleeping. And Now, in saying this, right, when I met my husband, mm. we met at the Edinburgh Fringe, and we knew on the day we met that we were going to get married. Did you actually? Yes. The problem was he was already married. Ah! <laughs> Hurrah! Yes! There was that hurdle. Yeah, home wrecking <laughs> whore! Oh, I love it. I know. Fucking hell, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Well, not for <laughs> some people. So, so. See so so what he. No, I mean, separated, but like definitely still. Definitely right. legally married. Yeah. Um, but we knew that day we met, we were like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll definitely get married the day we met. But so, can I ask you this now? What was it? Because uh, obviously it's probably not 
actually you know something you can articulate because maybe it's just a feeling right? yeah but is there anything like that you're like this is why like i you know what, yeah. I mean? what about it this is this is so cringe no but that like when we first kissed i genuinely was like i feel like i've gone blind oh! <laughs> love love is blind <laughs> There, there was just a real strong connection. I'm so wonder. embarrassed. <laughs> so embarrassed. We just and, and afterwards, like Sean said the same to me. He was like, "Yeah, like that we just knew." So, and it's because I've been kissing a lot of guys up until that point, and I was like, "All oh, that was stinking." Yeah. No, I hadn't. I, I, I you've been doing a bit. You've been, been you've been having fun. I've been single for, for like six weeks. Had you been single six weeks? About six weeks. Were you were you a relationship jumper? Were Serial you? monogamist. Right. Right, right. But they weren't. <laughs> they, oh, they were they were little cheaters. Cheer rotten bastards. Bad boys. On you. I know. Fucking cheek. Where are they now? Where are they now? I am dead. A, I am a man. They're all dead. <laughs> yeah. They're they all, died. They died. Broken heart. Of boredom after I left. Fucking A. <laughs> but I'd say they didn't know how good they had it with you being uh really funny and entertaining. And that's a great thing. But th- that's what's Im- intimidating and for some men, I think it is intimidating for some men. Now, not me. I love, I love that now. Yeah. Because this girl now, very funny. Yeah. She, she played a massive prank on you the minute being in South what? Africa. She's <laughs> <laughs> going to turn up with a camera crew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh He's fuck. Being punked. Oh man, that killed me. But I think I did feel, and obviously, like history now in a few weeks will make an absolute fool of me when um, I'm, you know, crying into my soup in some gutter in London. But. uh but why, I did feel. Why would you have your sip outside? None of your business. <laughs> That's how I like it. Maybe. Cool. Uh, in the past. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, but when I first met her, or like just text, just messaging her, she messaged back to a story on Instagram. I was messaging her, and we just kept messaging for a few hours. But just f- immediately, I had never even met her. I I was very nervous even before the day because I was like, I just felt something, and then yes. on the day I felt that, and then since, and I'm at very like. And I never feel that. Mm. So well, no, Sean and I did talk for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Over like WhatsApp. Yeah. And what happened was, mm. so we both followed each other online, just for the, both in the comedy scene. He's a comedian as well. I was in a sketch group at the time, so cool. And um, we were, <laughs> um, so we. I remember standing at a bus stop on the way to going to work. I worked in Debenham, spraying perfume on fuckers, right? And I tweeted going. When was this day end? And he tweeted me back. Great going, tweet. He tweeted me back. Oh, <laughs> Cracker. I got you hook, line, and sinker there. That's real, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> My milkshake brings out a voice to the air. And when he, will this day end? <laughs> Does every lad like And oh. he texts me back saying midnight. Right. And I was all, ah, this guy, this guy wants a piece of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good at flirting. But that is good. Did you message back laughy faces? Yes, so, we, no, because this is pre-emoji. This was like 12, this 13 years w- this ago. This was pre-emoji? Aye. How do you even act? I, don't, I wouldn't even you know what to do. Use the word. I'd throw my phone away. <laughs> I'd jump yeah. in the river. I wouldn't know how to react. You'd take a photograph of yourself, <laughs> emoji, and then send it. Do you know what? Can I tell you a quick story about something I, 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 something I saw recently that I was like, it's so mad because emojis have like ruined our, our brains. Yeah. I was looking at my roommate was on uh, a call to this girl, and she's a musician. And she, anyway, she's talking to one of her friends. And she told her friend some piece of news. She goes, blah, blah, blah. and the friend just goes, oh, my God, I'm literally crying laughing. I'm literally crying laughing. <laughs> and it's like, well, you're literally not. You're definitely not. Like, you're nothing. No, no, no. You have a just straight face. I'm yeah. literally, I'm howling. Yeah, so right funny. Now. So funny. <laughs> and she's English. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like. But, uh, Those fuckers don't find anything funny. They don't find anything funny. Um, the death of minorities, they do get a, amusement out of what will just be a little a smile <laughs> will creep across their face. Right. Yeah, there's a nastiness there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, uh, so it's your one and uh, the not sleeping. But so when he texts back that now and he said midnight, yeah. and did you think that was, did you, were you like, that's very good now? No, him and my manager of the bar I worked in in the evenings at the time yes. both tweeted back saying midnight. They both said it. So, so you would have picked, you would a choice yes. to make then. So for the next six weeks, <laughs> I would have. <laughs> <laughs> one or the other I just had to ride them both yeah like, I'm just gonna have to kiss you both yeah see what happens no one of them was my manager so um, he was out but 
so with Sean, we started tweeting back and forth throughout that day, and then he DM'd me. M- motherfucker slipped into my DMs. Yeah. But he was like, "Listen, I have a website," and I was like, "This is intriguing." Right. That's some like opening line. I have a website. I have a website. Jesus like, oh, Christ! Wait, what? He's made it. Yeah. And it was like all of these tweets come up in a feed yeah. in my my website, and people. People are on my website for jokes. I don't know. So like this isn't, these aren't jokes. This is just me and you. Between. Anyway, let's talk privately. Right. And I was like, uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> my manager doesn't say that. Right. He did. Um, and then that's how it started. So then we, and then it was like here, can he was, actually what he asked me is, do you have Blackberry Messenger? He asked you that. <laughs> yeah. Because that's what you wanted to talk to you on. No, it was pre-WhatsApp. Oh. Or maybe it was like WhatsApp was just, no, it's definitely pre WhatsApp. It was definitely pre WhatsApp. Twelve years ago. Yep, hundred yeah, okay. percent. So it was pre WhatsApp, and he's like, "Do you have BBM, like Blackberry Messenger?" And I was like, "No, I've got an iPhone because I've got money." And then, <laughs> <laughs> did you say that? I hope you did. Shame him for I being did. poor. Yeah, he was from Lurgan as well. Oh, so I was like, "Right, yeah." I'm not with this guy for his cash. Right, yeah. Um, Step down. And then, and then just went from there. And then we chatted constantly for like two weeks. And it's the same thing as you. By the time we met up, I think we'd already been like. The spark had been ignited. That's right. Because there is something even over text that you can feel yeah. just, uh, you're like. A sense of. And now I rem- it's mad because now I'm watching, lo- not, I've watched Love is Blind and I'm yeah. all, oh, you're all talking shit. Although when saying that there, I could see photographs of him. Mm. So I knew what he looked like. See, that's right. And the, the thing with your one now is this, and this did give me a shock. So we were go- going back and forth over message and... For some reason in my head, I'd given her an Irish voice. And then when I met her, she 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 had like a posh English one. And there was part of me that was like, oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. I got a stick. Yeah. <laughs> Is there more going to jump out of the bushes? <laughs> yeah. I'm being ambushed. But it did jar me. And I was like, oh, fuck. But what? did you not ask where she was from? It, she said she's from London, but her parents are Irish. Her father's from Clare and her mother's from Kerry. And I was like, maybe the parents have, you know, shielded her from sounding like that. No. You know? But they hadn't. They there's hadn't. no way to do it. No. There's um, a nastiness there. Don't. There's a cruelty. <laughs> there's a cruelty. There, there, there's an absence of kindness and it's palpable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but... This is so I, I haven't been sleeping. I actually took a sleeping pill last night and I swear to God, that's the first time I've never taken one before. But my uh, roommate's a drug dealer, Australian drug dealer, best kind, everything, and you want. But I not that I want that. So he doesn't just deal to Australians, he is Australian. He's Australian. I think he'd prefer to sell to Australians, but he will sell to anyone. Okay. But money's money. In a dream world, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's money, but he got me. So he's dealing sleeping pills? Well, I, this guy is ever Diazepam. He's just the Willy Wonka of of, of, of drugs. Yeah. Because I was just like, oh, I'm having trouble sleeping. He's like, okay, you fucking sleeping pills, mate. Fucking stay right and there. And he have them in his room and came back out? Yeah. I came out with the sleeping pills. Did he give you a freebie or did you have to pay? No, he gave me a freebie, but then he said, then he said, nah, he's like, you have these for free, but then man, he's like, I want you oh, to show me how to do. got you. Because he's wanted to start a podcast. I don't know what, maybe about selling drugs. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But it could be like a kind Great of how, marketing. Like a how to to. Yeah. Um, if he an, called that, like, I definitely don't sell drugs. <laughs> yeah. And then the whole time he's like, I don't sell drugs, but I do live at 33. And then, yes. you know. But it could be like um, OJ brought a book out after he uh, killed your one and your man. And he said, what I would have done if I did it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Is that what he called it? Yeah. No. A book about it. Yes. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No. So in the book, does he? Have you read it, or do you know about it? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't read it now. But uh, so he talks he about it. what he would, how he would have killed her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a brass neck. Ah, he's a neck like a jockey's bollocks for fucking OJ. Fucking hell. Glad bowls a pig. <laughs> 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 fucking hell. But so anyway, so your man gave me a fucking. Uh, he gives. He gave me a, a sleeping. Tablet, uh, a sleeping pill. But she didn't. I take the pill anyway and try. I was out like uh, light last night, and then I woke up at fucking half three in the morning. I was livid. I was like, some fucking sleeping pill that was. Oh, you wanted to last the whole night? Oh yeah, I was nearly going to go in and drag your man out of the bed. Mm. I mean, what the? Hell? But is your problem getting to sleep or staying asleep? Both. Usually? Both at the minute. Both. I was like, I'm, 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 it's taking me ages to get to sleep. Then when I get to sleep, I'm just waking up again. And and now I'm just in a cycle. It's in my head. Are you on your phone before bed? Do you know what I'm? I'm I'm trying not to uh, do that. And this is another thing now. Do you want that really? And I I swear to God, I nearly went through the roof. So I started listening to these things called sleep stories. Right? Yeah. Have you heard of that? Well, some people have been calling my podcast to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just tune in. Off you go. Good luck to sleep into this one. Just what the doctor ordered. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I put on the, the sleep store and it's like it's like a fella with a relaxing voice being like, uh, here's the story yeah. of the time I went to the museum and I... Oh, he's telling you an actual story. Right, but it's all infused with... And then I lied down on the museum floor and I took a deep breath and okay. relaxed my arse and whatever. So he goes on. Relax my arse? Rel- yeah, yeah. It gets a bit lewd. Um, and you're like, hey, hold on there. Yeah. Um, and he's under the bed. He's like, eh? um, so mm-hmm. anyway, I so anyway, I, I woke up to the morning at like, uh, I think, again, stupid time, like half four. And you're like, oh, for fuck's sake. So I decided to put on the, the sleep story. Sleep story is going on. Next thing, da da da, and then bam, a fucking ad for like Ryanair oh, comes on. Yeah. It's like da, 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 Ryanair, finish it up. No, I, I swear to God, I got. Up. I was like, that's you. so shipping. I was like, you dirty bastards, you pigs, you pigs, to put an ad in, in the a, middle of a sleep story. That's crazy. You must be fucking. Ju- that's capitalism yeah. gone mad, Dion, and I won't. Do you know what that's it. like? Five minutes on day of porno, your granny popping up. <laughs> Do you know what I'm I mean? Dead honest, that would that would help me. You should go to sleep like my daughter goes to sleep. How and is just, that? Just cry Hanging yourself like to bass. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Be abused by your mo- your mother enough yeah. to make you sad enough. Just to have drift a 34 off. year old beached whale shout at you and then cry yourself to sleep. That, would, that's would, about you, it. would you shout at her now? The odd time. No, she's an angel. Is she though? If I shouted at her, she'd shout back. I'm only teaching her how to behave. Because I heard you downstairs saying that she's being an asshole. Yes, well she is at the minute because yeah. I would like. So don't piss in my pocket and tell me it's raining. <laughs> all right. She's being an asshole at the minute. Yeah. Just because she's like, no, she, she's she's got separation anxiety. Have you ah. ever had that? Me? You've got separation anxiety from this girl at the I, minute. I swear to God, I do, yeah. She, um, yeah, she's got separation anxiety from me when I leave the room. She's like, she just wants, she just wants me to there all the time. I should be flattered. Because obviously it's a reflection of how class I am. It is a reflection of how class I are. should be more worried if she's like, no, 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 off you go. Off, yeah. Bye-bye. You should be buzzing with that. Yeah. You should be like, you need me. Yeah, yeah. I you could, need me, yeah. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use her for like quotes for like future shows and stuff. Just like, please don't leave. Yeah. Stuff like that. <laughs> oh, that'd be sick. But tell me this much and be honest about this now, because I know it's probably. I don't know well, but you can ask. No, no, no. <laughs> she loves you more than she loves her father. Yes, she? I agree with her. Yeah. And so the difference yeah. is right. Like, so for instance, we've got very different parenting styles. Mm. I breastfed my daughter for 19 months, and he taught her how to say a ball bag. Right. Do you know what I mean? And I know which one she preferred. <laughs> Same ball bag. Do you know what the other day he was? He taught her to go fuck me, pink, and now she runs around saying that, which is very funny. Yeah. And the grand scheme of things, who gives a shit? Right. But she does. She has two, she's and she runs around going fuck me, pink. Fuck me, pink. It's quite funny. It's not right. It's like little Mickey Bartlett running around. Yeah. <laughs> like you can't, you can't have that in your house. I just don't want a phone call from the nursery going. Somebody must have said this in front of her, and now she's repeating it, and I'll be like. Oh, what a bastard. Yeah. Fuck me, pink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oops. Oops. Never heard it before. <laughs> yeah. So that's up. But she's not, but, but like, I do think, I think the most important thing in the world is sleep. Oh, you, and I couldn't agree with you more and that's why it's gotten in my head now because I'm like, I'm not sleeping, I'm not sleeping. This is a disaster. But you can't think properly. You're kind of like, you're in this kind of bit of a haze. You're just getting through life. Yeah. If you're not sleeping. So that's why I, I turned to the sleeping pills. Do you remember your dreams? Um, Last night I had a dream that I I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not even joking. That is so fucked. I know it's so ingrained. Your mind hates yeah, you. Yeah, oh my mind, oh my mind absolutely hates me. My mind is an absolute bag of spiders at the best of times. But uh, I was going to say when you're talking about breastfeeding, I saw I heard this the other day. I said, tell me what you think of this. There was a woman, right? She said this out loud on a podcast. She's a comedy agent. She's on a podcast for some reason. She was saying she was lying on the couch, right? And she'd wonder, one of her tits was just out. She was in her dressing gown, mm. which already a bit lewd. Next thing, the dog comes <gasps> up on top. Lex her back. No, starts, again, starts sucking on her tit, right? Just milking away. And she says she's never felt closer to the dog. She lets the dog keep sucking. And then the husband comes home. He's like, what the hell? Get the hell off her. And she's oh like, oh, my oh, God. Oh. Right. And when she- did you join my patron? <laughs> <laughs> but That's mad. Isn't that mad? No, I don't think you should let your pets suck I don't on think you. you should breastfeed your pets. But I think, there's, there's, I think there's some odd stuff going on with pets, and it's not just there. I'll tell you a story now. I was, in, uh, I was living in Barcelona there uh, for a year over the uh, lockdown. And, um, and one day, I, anyway, I was, lying on, I was lying on my bed and uh, doing whatever reading or something. And uh, uh, next day, I was on my phone. And yeah. 
next thing, there was a sausage dog that lived in the house, Nino. And he lived, and his owner was a guy named Johnny. Now, Johnny would always be going around just wearing a tongue. All just like, like completely. Completely shaven? No. Oh, the opposite. Hairy as be Jesus. He was right. like a fucking shitty. Anyway, he was going around there anyway. I didn't like Johnny. I didn't like his attitude. It's like, put some pants on for yeah. fuck's sake. Why should I have to look at your little hairy Spanish hole every day? Anyway, so he's going around. Next thing, I had left to crack the door open. The fucking, the sausage dog anyway. Comes in. He sees me on the bed. Now, I'm just in a pair of shorts, so I've not none, right? Like, just the shorts. Next thing, he, he runs he runs up to the bed to try to get on the bed. Now, he's a sausage. He's under long. Yeah. So, they don't have much, like, fucking... Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They're not very, Leverage like... for jumping. They're not very dynamic no. animal. They're kind of useless. They should be put down. I, I'm not going to go into it. <laughs> but anyway, they're odd. Yeah, we don't need them. We don't need them. Um, They're not contributing to the economy. But, so, he comes in anyway. He's running up trying to get on the bed, but he can't. He doesn't have the upper body strength to get mm -hmm. up. And I'm like... Do you know what? If he manages to get up, I'll let him stay up because yeah. he's one. But I'm not fucking helping him, yeah. right? So next thing he's running, he's going, and finally he runs right back to the door, runs up, boop, gets, manages to get himself up onto the bed, right? So anyway, I said, right, I'll let him have his time on the bed now. Next thing, right, he starts licking uh, one of my nipples. He starts licking one of them, right? Just licking at it. And now I'm like, this isn't unpleasant. I'll see where he's going. <laughs> um, so next thing he finishes with one. Then he goes on to the other, right? He's like licking at it, licking the nipple. I'm that like, one's done. Yeah, he's like, can you, you, you've stimulated this one to <laughs> completion. <laughs> and I'm going to the other one. It's ripe. Ripe. He starts licking at the other one. And I'm like, all right, you know, whatever. We're just man and a dog. It's nothing to be seen here. Next thing, I swear on my life, he starts like licking down. Down your go, belly. But like slowly going down. Like someone that's been... Someone's taught him to do that. I swear, and I go, hey, get the hell off me. I said, what What are you doing, Nino? And he was like, oh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, me no speak English. Me no, <laughs> oh, me no me So anyway, next thing... Little, <laughs> he definitely didn't speak English. No, I don't have none of it. Um, uh, so anyway, next thing, he's like, oh, senor. Me no, uh, lo siento, lo si lo senor. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm so embarrassed. Uh, so next thing, anyway... Nino fucks off and I and I did I, I realized I was like that dirty hairy bastard yeah. Johnny is after teaching Nino to, to suck, him, suck off. him off he should go on Britain's Got Talent with that <laughs> the sausage dog or Johnny <laughs> both Simon both. Cowell would let that win <laughs> Simon Cowell just is our winner right here yeah yeah <laughs> golden buzzer yeah for that guy that is absolutely vile it is, is it? Um, yes. Should I have also, said that? Should I have not said that? You, you know, definitely said that. Yeah, yeah. But I think, you see as well, with <laughs> with with licking nipples and breastfeeding. Yeah. So it, what happens is the, the tongue, the mm. saliva of a baby's tongue, tells the nipple what it needs as regards nutrition. So the feed Whoa. that comes through is exactly catered. It's like Michelin star catered to the baby, which is why they say breast is best. Wow. I'm concerned if there's a dog licking there. That you're just gonna end up with like fucking pedigree, pedigree chum yeah. Do you know what I mean? Tit. He's gonna turn what's inside your tit into pedigree yeah. chum. When the baby gets on the next time, it's gonna just be dog food. That's a legit concern. Yeah, you're gonna end up with a, a child growing a wagon tail because <laughs> the, the tits are just gonna be like, I don't know, is it a dog now? And these are problems that nobody else talks about, and that's why you're the best, and that's why you're bringing it up here <laughs> yeah, in this yeah, podcast. Yeah. We're sorting this out for the one person in the entire of the UK and Ireland who's got a dog like her nips. Did you? Is your is your young one? Is she still on the tit? She's off now. Did you take her off? I took her off after I got and pregnant. And how did she get off? Was she was she, you know, was there slaps? Was she? I thought it was going to be way harder than it was. What I did was I just left. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was doing a play at the time, which meant right. I was like out rehearsing all day and shows at night. So like you I couldn't be leaking at a play either. No. You no. wouldn't want to be. You bring a pump. Right. Less than after two kids, I'll be leaking out your dude, not your tits uh, during a play. <laughs> but I, for so if it was like two months, I just Wonderful weaned her off. <laughs> so I, stars. Yeah, oh, dear God, yeah. There was a real life dude leak. <laughs> <laughs> we don't let. Like, I'm I'm against people reviewing plays. Yeah, I hate it. I said, you're one fucker with one opinion. Get the fuck. Yeah, but you're a, you're an actress first yeah. and foremost. Well, yeah, yes, no, equally as both. What would you take on to the head? Comedy. There, good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. I would have. I would have. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> Wag your tail for good me there. Yeah. 
a, a couple of years ago would have said um, acting, but uh, definitely I think comedy now. Yeah. yeah, it's just naturally gone that direction. People are stopping auditioning me for things, so I have no choice. Are they really? Well, I think I, I'm definitely doing way less auditions. Like I used to do, like plenty of auditions, but now I don't get auditioned for any drama stuff. But it's better crack, isn't it? Yeah, because you can create your own stuff, and you're exactly. not waiting around going in having someone to tell you that you can work. Exactly. You can do your own thing. Come in here, yeah. talk about your tits, and. Get and the if money. You, if you go money, that's probably for why her. I've got less auditions. Is because I'm talking about dogs you're, looking. <laughs> and you're bringing on, and you're bringing on unsavory characters like myself <laughs> to say whatever the fuck comes in their heads. But also, like you know, you you have to be like when you're when you're in shows and all too, they sort of own you. So you have to be like so careful about things that you say and all as well. Yeah. Like that fuck. Like, there's a lot of people who work for the BBC who are like doing their Twitter bios and it's like views are my own. You're like duh. We fucking know the views. Do you know what I mean? It's like, don't ring the BBC if I say something shitty and you're like, well, we're not going to. Right. Like, I would hate to be owned by an organisation like that where you can't say what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, you're a, you're a tiger not to, not to be tamed. You're like, you're like, is that right? Have I said that right? That's your girl in South Africa who's avoiding you at the minute. It, that's her, is it? Yeah, she's that's the not tiger you She's the tiger. tiger. Fuck. <laughs> Why is she still out there? That's the question. Have you had long-term relationships? I've had a couple where it's been... I think the the longest is like a year and a half. What age are you? Thirty two. So what's wrong with you? We're joking. We're joking. My willy doesn't work. <laughs> um, uh. No, I'm only joking. Um, so because all I have known is long term relationships. Do you know what I think it is? I think I got I got started late because I I hit puberty late. Right, I hit puberty very late. Did you? Like sixteen. So like I went through like a good few years where I was like uh, still a wee kid. Yeah, and everyone else like all my friends had beers and stuff, and I was a child. I think that's better. Ah uh, no, it wasn't better. Maybe not for you, but I bet your parents were delighted because they were like, "Listen, he's our wee child for a wee bit longer." Or did they want rid of you? Well, 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 they certainly didn't want me to stay around. <laughs> I mean, there was certainly a feeling of you're still here. Uh, yeah, like, let me, how many pupils have you got? Get the fuck <laughs> out. <laughs> but the thing was, so I didn't grow. I didn't get pubes or any of that. Uh, to like, and I'm not talking just. Also, a bit sorry. Like, can we just say I think that is the worst word in the world. Like the word pubes, I fucking hate the it word. It is disgusting. I'll word. use it, but it's just how it comes out. Pubes. Yeah. Why can't? Why haven't we gotten a different word for that? That's disgusting. Pussy is a disgusting word. Yes. It's a disgusting. What's another word? Because vagina is too formal. Do you too, know, I know you say too. Do. Do it. Do it. <laughs> That's pretty nice. But also, the word I can't even say. It, I hate pussy. Yeah. Because, but some people say posse. Posse. Even, posse? As in like. Biggie Smalls friends. Well, yeah. Yeah. But I, like, I, I, my husband says the word. He pronounce, he would pronounce it pos, posse. And is he saying that on the regular in front of the kid? Is she going around <laughs> just fuck my pet? Yeah. I've got a posse. <laughs> He's so stopping me, posse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but so uh, when I was younger, so in my teenage years now, because it's very stressful if you haven't had puberty and everyone else has, because you think I am to be a, a child forever, yes. perhaps. Yeah. And there is that lad. I don't even remember him. Little fella, little black American fella, Gary Coleman. No. So he was in some, he was in this uh, TV show called Different Strokes or something, but uh, where he said, what you talking about, Willis? And he was like a famous kid actor, but he stayed a kid. But did he not, like developmentally, he never became an adult? No, he did in his head, but he was just still a child. So it's just like, you, you know, he had to stay in school. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, no, he didn't actually have to stay in school. <laughs> like, you have no pubes, you're redoing your GCSEs. You just have to stay till it, till it changes that. So you, you, you were a late bloomer. But very, very late. So it was very stressful. So then, uh, but I'd be trying to like, so you know, you want your balls to drop. So I'd be trying to tum my balls down with my tongue. I'd be like, get This is interesting down. because listen, yeah. I'm about to have a son. Yeah. Right? And I know nothing about the balls and, and, and the dick and all. Well, let me tell you, Diona, you're about to get educated. Like I was older, Sean, how do I know how to clean that when I'm changing the nappy? Clean the balls? Well, just like, what do you do? A, a, a dirt is so much easier to clean. It's a, is it though? Just a wee wipe. Mm. On a child, did we wipe and put a new but nappy does, on? But doesn't the dude have a, have a whole world inside? It's like the, the, the it's like tearing an og there inside the <laughs> Is it not? Yes. Is there not like a whole magical oh. world where you never grow old kind oh, of thing? And we don't let never, you, never land. We don't let you see the half of it either. <laughs> <laughs> we Lo talk. Do we talk about it when you aren't there? It's like the lost city of Atlantis in the, uh, up the dude. <laughs> is it? There, but there is. So I'm. I'm just like how do how do you raise a boy is so different. So you're saying about you're trying to make yes. your own ball. I was. Drop. I was saying by God, nature is leaving me hanging here. So I have to fucking <laughs> not <yeah>. even. <laughs> no, no. Right nature has me fucking tied up. <laughs> so the balls are both like stuck up to the shaft. So I was like trying to get down, and then I would also be because uh, my voice hadn't dropped. So. I would 
tried to pretend I would go around like hello yes. off. Yes, I would yes. like a chicken fillet roll, please. <laughs> you know, I would, I would like force it, yeah. so to try. And then would you go home, close the door, and go? Ah, I just want to say my mommy says something. I, I would. I go home and I go. The sun will come out <laughs> tomorrow. Just sweeping chimneys. <laughs> yeah, just sweeping chimneys. Uh, so I kind of that kind of was what was going on, but it was very, it was very anxiety ridden. But then. Because of that, I think I got afraid. I was afraid of uh, women because I was afraid. Because I was afraid. I was like, these, this, these are potentially very embarrassing situations. So, what age were you when you had your first kiss? I know. I my first kiss when I was young. Like, I, first kiss I was. Oh, so you young. weren't a late bloomer? Was, like, you were, you were, you were talking to people. <laughs> no, I was talking to people. I was kissing. I was pop. I had friends. I had all that shit. But I was just had secrets. Basically, you were I had a lot of like secrets because I was telling everyone there is jizz coming out of my dick. Anyone who'd listen, the teachers, the priests, I'd say it's working. <laughs> Tell the whole town writing yeah. articles about it, <laughs> but it was lies. Your mass teacher's like, so Pythagoras' theorem, you're all there is jizz, there's jizz everywhere. Forget <laughs> the theorem, I'll show you a theorem. I whip it out. Um, but it actually was, I tell you what was handy about it in a practical sense. And again, I'm going to be uh descending into some lewd stuff here, but you could masturbate, finish. And just completely, there's no mess, nothing. So you could really, you could really get around, get it done in a lot that's of different like, places. That's like that guy on Love Is Blind. Yeah, maybe you know what I mean. It, Love Is Blind. Why? What was? Well, it's just he doesn't even have to touch it. And can but there's a, such a thing. Did you know? Have you heard about hypno porn? That's going on. That out. must be the thing. That must be it. But he might be. He might be a, a porn hypnotist. He could be like that. That's what he's. That's a night out, doesn't it? It, it is a night out. Because everyone, imagine. Actually, now that you said that. Imagine that you're all out. You've come to the hypno porn thing, and you're just everyone in the theater coming at once from the mind of some fucking mad lad, just fucking, and you're all, oh uh. yeah. That is the that is. Imagine the mess. So easy to groom people if you could do that. Oh my god! Imagine the mess. Would it be fun though? Would it be fun to come around a lot of different people? Absolutely. Would you like it? I wouldn't know. No, <clears throat> I'm far too vanilla for that. But do you? Because now I've had different and uh, different women. Because so obviously the orgasm in different ways. But some some turn into kind of. Uh, I I don't think. Uh, fuck. Nobody nobody needs to see it, and other people like I don't think. Yeah. I just don't think it's a pretty thing to look at, is it? Yeah, I saw my friend. Have you ever seen a guy jizz yeah. that wasn't yourself? Yeah, I saw my friend. Um, I saw my friend come, and honestly, I think I would have rather seen him die. <laughs> I think. Why did you see him come? Huh? Why? How? How well, that arise? Well, I, I'm not going to go fully into it, but we did. We had a kind of a, this, a threesome thing came up, but this was in it was in America. I'd never done anything like it, but he's a very good friend of mine. We were both trying to get the same girl. Yes. And we were like, and and, I, and he wouldn't. I said, listen, would you go in now and leave her to me? <laughs> I want this one. And he said, you fuck off. Will you? I said, you dirty bastard. Oh, 2023. Yes. I want this one. You leave her. You leave her. You leave, leave her to me. me. <laughs> this. What's her, who cares what her name is? I've got her in handcuffs. That's right. <laughs> I have her on a lead. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> to her here, so so. So anyway, so Come here, Nino, what are you going at the dog? Nina, oh, Nino, Nino, Nino. Nino's like, ah, señor, <laughs> I am back in your favor, señor. Uh, so anyway, so anyway, it says to, I says to, uh, uh, your one, I says to John, it says go in, blah, blah blah. He wouldn't go away. So anyway, it's like f- fucking five, four or five in the morning. We were at this late night bar in uh, in Chicago. And she goes off to the toilet. I says, would you ever get the hell out of here? I says to him. And he says, why don't you get the hell out of here, you dirty idiot? She's mine. Her girl. So why would the toilet dis- escape? I know. So anyway, she couldn't. She couldn't fit out the window of the toilet. So <laughs> she, <laughs> she had to come back. So she the had bar. to come back to the bar. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, but anyway. So he says. I so I says. I goes. So sure, look for. Let's grow up here now. So we just. See, maybe she'll ride the boat of us. <laughs> and, he, and, and he says, so if we can't do a rock, paper, scissors, we'll just ask her, will she book right, us both? <laughs> that's exactly right. And so it was about, and he says, so look, we'll ask her anyway. So she comes back and we said, look, we were had a chat there now. And uh, we were just wondering, was there any chance you'd maybe want to ride the boat of us to hell? And uh, and she was just like, yeah, sure. We're like, jeez, that was, that was easy now. You don't ask, you don't get. Yeah, she was, she couldn't have been, she was like, great. 
Do you now not wonder how many situations you could have been in in your life that you, had, oh. if you had just went here? Can I? Can you just give me all your money? That somebody would have just done that? Oh, a hundred percent. Closed mouths don't get fed. Yeah. Famously, just ask for things. I've never been in that mind frame before to yeah. just ask for ask. what you want. But like, I know guys as well, like who would be just they'd be like if they're on a date with a girl, like they'll just go uh, at some point. They'll just go, oh, hey, do you want to come back to mine and have sex? Yeah. And they'll just say that, and the girl might be just like, no, no, and he'd be like, all right, no, he's just seeing. And then a lot of girls be like, yeah. And do you want transparency? I know, but That's I could never do that. It's no, an old sh- fucking Elizabethan parlor dance where you're like, perhaps <laughs> you would, <laughs> perhaps I could take you for a stroll towards no, the. You're trying to lure them into a false sense of security. That's absolutely. What it is. Yeah. But there is so anyway. We goes back to <laughs> we goes back to your ones, uh, your ones place. Anyway, gets a an Uber back, and then. She was like, oh, we should all take showers, she says, which I suppose is hygienic. So anyway, so he goes in the shower this first. This girl, this is not her first rodeo. Absolutely. Oh, no, she was. Let me tell you now. She was yeah. fucking captain of the ship yeah. now. She, she opened was, up a bag of tricks. Oh, my she God. <laughs> <laughs> she had a bottle of lube and a cape. She had a bottle of lube, a cape. She had, yeah. she had a whiteboard with the strategies. The rules. Tactics, the strategies. <laughs> um, so anyway, as soon as he goes to the bathroom now, I was as bold as a pig because I just started, I was just like, no, let's just start writing now because I just wanted to like just be writing her first. I don't know why it was, it wasn't, it was quite, it was quite nasty on my end really. But she was like, no, no, we'll wait for him. I was like, oh, fine. So anyway, we we had to wait for him. But anyway, and, and I'll tell you no more than this now because not that we had to have a talk now before myself and himself. We were like, now, for fuck's sake, if we're going to do this now, don't be putting on to not each other's holes here. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Stay you back from a- me. Absolutely. You don't want to fall in love. So uh, <laughs> so we don't want that to happen. So yeah. nothing like that ha- happened. The only thing that did happen is at one point I was uh, riding your one and my dick slipped out and he put it back in. Now that was <gasps> the only thing now that happened. <laughs> <laughs> that has blown my mind. That's but why mad, did he? Why did he feel like he, you needed him to do that? Because right, so it all truth be told now, and and I actually I do some stand up on this, but I'm not giving away the jokes of it. This is just what happened. But um, so what happened was now I hope this isn't too beyond the pale. So she was on top anyway, and I can't even remember it. I was just happy out now. I was in Valhalla, Nirvana. I couldn't oh, yeah. delight it. And um, so anyway, she says to him to the side she goes you go around the back there now and you try to put it in the other place yeah there's another place you see yeah her hoop uh, yes her hoop exactly Diona yeah. that's what I was alluding to <laughs> the back passage as my mother would call it she didn't like to say our so she, she would say the back passage so Anya anyway, says you go around there there and do back now that is an, that is a, an inordinately difficult task to give someone yeah. in this situation so he goes back, and, and it's a moving target. She believed in him, though. Absolutely. It, it was a great show of belief. It was a great show <laughs> yeah. of confidence in him. Do you not feel a wee bit undermined that it was him that she believed in to do that and not you? No, I just felt, I, I've just, I was We're getting, doing our thing. I'm in the middle of getting road. There's nothing going through my head, only skittles and, and fairies. I was happy out. I was in Tiernan Oak. So, uh, so anyway, he goes around the back there. And sure, it's a moving target. Yeah. Because he's yeah. trying yeah. to yeah. Yeah. then put it in a place that she's going up and down and sure he gets very demoralised very quickly right. gives up and then just kind of decides to be helpful for just, you yes so then like I was but like so uh, I was riding around behind uh, he was behind and like uh, my dick slipped out and he was just <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a fucking plumber <laughs> yeah and you just yeah 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 poke that back in there absolutely your pipe's out of place that's right that's like, right yeah do you know what? what? I love hearing stories of that, not because I'm a freak, but just because that is not my life. I have, yeah. That is, I have had a different life to that. You've had a different life to I've that. I've had a very it? different life to that. That's that. So, if well, you, you never know when a life like this could start. <laughs> today could be the start. Right? This could this could trigger something in your brain, and now yeah, we could decide to be polyamorous any day now. That's right. That's a thing. I couldn't do that myself. No, I could never be too jealous. Do you know what? So polyamory is obviously when you have multiple partners at the same time. That's both, right. Both of you do, I think. Yeah. And you're like you're you're not bothered. No, I so I once tried it with, uh, but I think polyamorous as well as like multiple relationships. Yeah, it's which, not just bucking around. No, no, which to me is like. Who on God's green earth has time? You'd want to have no ambition. You'd want to have nothing else to do in your life. You'd yeah. want to be a waster. 
You'd want to be a waster. Do you think so? Apt to do polyamory. Well, you'd so want to be. You wouldn't want to be able to work to warm yourself. How the fuck? One relationship is hard to yeah. balance with a career but also, or a life. One relationship might not tick all your boxes. So say you're with someone and like it's all grand, but like you really like to play golf and they're not really into golf. So then you go with somebody else who likes to play golf. I suppose you could just get a friend. You could. <laughs> <laughs> Just go golfing together. That's the other option. There's no need to get married. The other option is, of course, to have friends. Yeah. Um, but I was, uh, when I first went to America, now, uh, I lived in Chicago for a few years and I was very kind of, I would say, uh, green when I went over there. And I was uh, a different colour like, when I came back. Huh? What do you mean? You were green when you went over I was naive. Oh, naive. You know, right. I was naive. Wet behind the ears. Well, I was wet behind the ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. More ways than one. But, um,. I don't know what that meant. But <laughs> <laughs> just sounded perfect. <laughs> yeah, do, you ever, do you ever see that video of Kanye West? And somebody says to him, like, have you seen, like, I don't know, like Donald Trump or somebody recently? And he's all, yeah. I haven't seen him, but I guarantee he'll see me first. And then right. he's all, I don't know what that means. It just sounded funny. <laughs> he's just talking to Jay. That's yeah. you, you're Kanye. Well, he has that line in um, uh, the song with Jay Z N words in Paris where yeah. he's like, he's like uh, what does that mean? It's like, no one knows what it means. It doesn't matter. It's yeah, it provocative. Gets the people, people going. going. Is that not from Step Brothers? It's from... Uh, Anderman. No, 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 no. The, from Will Blaze of Glory. It's not Will Ferrell. It's Will Ferrell, but oh, from Blaze of Glory. Glory. The, right, okay. the skating movie. Um, so you went to Chicago. So you I, were a wee young lad. I was really just full of, full of hope and innocence. And um, and anyway, I started going out with this uh, young girl. She was... Um, she, I worked with her at the restaurant. And she was um, an African-American girl. Very exciting for me um, at the time. Uh, because I was a young lad from Kilkenny. Did you ring you know. Ireland and let them know? I rang the country <laughs> and I let them know and I, I didn't get a call back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Did you leave so a voicemail? I, uh, I, I, I left a voicemail and it, it went... Um, yeah, uh, unreplied to seven days. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So anyway, I, I was going out with her one anyway. She's a bit of a mad joke, actually. Really, um, big boozy Susie, and she was um, she really into death metal and all this stuff. Anyway, these are all uh, just uh, details of it. But she was like, "Oh, we'll do an open relationship." And I says, uh, "I says, oh, be Jesus, uh, what would that be now?" And she says that we can see other people. I goes right now, right, right, right. And I says to her. Um, Okay, but you're not actually you're not seeing anyone else, are you? And she was just like she I'm was like no, look. she was like no, no, no. And I was like, oh, that's good now, that's good, that's good. So we was yeah, sure sounds good, it's cool, it's hip, it's now. But you're definitely not seeing anyone else. She was like no, I was like grand, sure this is good, I like this, all right, it's a good bit of fun, hip and now we're cool, you know. Yeah. And then one day she came back, she's like, oh yeah, I had sex with this guy. I was like, oh, what the hell? Yeah. I yeah. thought we loved each other. <laughs> she's no. like, I said it was open. I was like, I thought that was just uh, be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What for Instagram? But that's I'm the thing. too like, jealous. Somebody... I'm too jealous for that somebody has to be the person that says to the other person here shall we ride other people but also still go with each other and that other person's world must shatter because they're like well what are you not getting from me that's right do you know what I mean but that's why as well you have to be Everton for like if someone's like hey I want to do this sexually and like you're you're promised like it's only going to be me and you forever you fucking better like be open to doing some stuff yeah Right? Well, I suppose. No, you didn't like that. <laughs> you didn't like that. And listen. Sean wants you to wear wear golf clothing. He wants me to be a dog. <laughs> <laughs> listen, you just get busy and knackered. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Nah, true. The more kids you bring into your life. Well, see, that's it. But, like, also, there's a difference. Like, you know, uh, everyone has a different thing of, like, I think. What's your, what's the, the, the highest on your importance On the ladder? importance list. Yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. there's some people that are just born dirty, dirty, dirty dogs. My and top is don't put a wet dish cloth over the dry dishes. <laughs> That's my top. <laughs> Anybody does that, I'll marry you. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like that's that's one of my like the one thing Sean does. There's things we do in our house. He puts a wet. Dish. Hey, do you know what? Do you know what? When you're like a tea towel, you dry yeah. your hands with, or you make dry dishes with. Yeah. You then like blanket them over the top of the, like the draining board with all the dishes on it, and it makes me want to kill him. And why is he doing that? Is it an act of aggression? I don't think he was hogged as a child. Was he not? I'm deaf. Who the fuck is that? It's a nasty thing for him to do. It's <laughs> an act of terrorism. Yeah, yeah. It's ruin Domestic it. terrorism. Try and take down our household one dish at a time. Yeah. And with that, now when you get, how would that manifest? Would you say, Sean, you big stupid fuck? <laughs> no. Would you say that? I'd start it off as that and now I just take it away. I've learned 
there's a, there's, Zen, a, there's a dance we do in the house. Dalai Lama way. Yeah, but yeah. Be yeah. careful because that way leads to <laughs> tongue sucking. Tongue sucking. Sure, we'd love that. Huh? We'd love that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, bro, you haven't sucked my tongue in about five years. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> we've, we've there's a dance we've learned to do now when you're married where you just like some things you pick your battles. I heard the Queen say this once. The well, she said it in fucking. She was flinging it about, wasn't she? Who? The battles. Lizzie. Battle ways, not. Right. Do it ways. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she was out fighting everybody. Yeah, she was. Oh, she's a cantankerous little whore. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> she... <laughs> she... <laughs> little battle axe. You're lucky she's dead. <laughs> little battle axe. Um, but she, I remember... Or no, do you know what? She didn't say it. I just heard it in the fucking watching the crown. Yeah. But like... Oh, then she did. Well, <laughs> but that was quote for quote, I do believe. But I think at one stage, she was like, one thing I've learned what it manages that um, sometimes you must just turn a blind eye to the and like there is just something to the murder and to the, the, to the murder the incest yeah. the yeah, thievery the, the colonialism all the, that or a marriage to last you must turn a blind eye to all the evils yeah. of the world like, Philip not another country Christ, <laughs> Christ <laughs> I'll say nothing <laughs> I'll say nothing let him home I'll turn a blind eye and um, what's your remember one moment because we need to finish up oh shite okay so this was the thing a cultural occurrence that I felt was uh, was a very interesting as a person from rural Ireland mm-hmm. um, was the advent um, of skinny jeans oh. all right now I have a lot of thoughts about this for Be- men or women men okay so when I was growing up now what you would have is you'd have a big pair of fucking Saturday night fever flare yeah. jeans baggy baggy open at the end you'd, you'd br- cut them up with scissors even yeah you fucking would. Yes. And and you were the king. You were Elvis. Yeah. You were you were living a good life. Next thing anyway, suddenly a few people start wearing skinny jeans. And I remember, right? I remember thinking, by God, they look fucking awful. Yeah. They look terrible on a man. Makes you look like an old pixie there. And especially the people where I'm from, because Kenny, these are aggro, these are half men, half fucking bullock. They're yeah, yeah, yeah. lads who be kind of biting chairs and kicking things and you know what I mean? Also, like, I feel like a lot of men have quite slim legs, so it makes them look top heavy, bottom uh, skinny. It makes skip it leg look, day. That's absolutely right. We all skip I've been going to the gym consistently for a year and Haven't I've done like legs. Day, I, Exactly zero times. I'm, Men don't, and I'm not doing it. So we, you don't want to? No, fuck that. It'll hurt. But <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it'll be sore. Yeah. And I'm not. I want to just be like, look at yeah, that. Let, you just want one gun. I have one gun. Look at that. They're like, let's show me the other one. I'm like, no, no. Look at that I'm one. I'm showing you this one. <laughs> look at the one I'm showing you. You greedy whore. <laughs> anyway, why did you use two? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, but I remember it coming. In. This is actually this is the reason I believe that we're all we don't actually really have free will. Like that we're all just, we all just, our taste is all completely decided for us by oh, whatever. 100%. By what's ever in the fucking zeitgeist or the media. Yeah. Because I hated them. I hated them. I thought they were the worst looking things of all time. Me and my friend were like, and everything back then where we were from was gay. Yeah. Gay, you're so gay. Weird. Anything different was gay. Yeah. If you were yeah. left-handed, you were gay. So um, uh, <laughs> back then, so, but then as time went on, suddenly, like a few years later, I found myself just welded in to skinny jeans. And we are all welded into skinny jeans. And we're kind of looking at each other like, how did this... How did we get here? How did this even happen? And it wasn't... And then we and then we welded into them. Then a while later, we thought they looked class. We we're like, these are unreal. These are great. But did we really think that, Diona? Nope. Nope. Or did we just get fucking uh, brainwashed by Colonize. Harry Styles and his whole He's got brigade? colonized. We got colonized mentally. By skinny jeans. By skinny jeans. No, it's... it's and, like, and like nobody suited them. That's right. Nobody, no matter yeah. what shape or size you were, they were everyone was packed in. I couldn't agree more. And to this day, even look back, it, they they look terrible. Like you said, people look like these top heavy, top heavy bobbleheads. Because if you're a guy who's skipping leg day, like all guys do, all of us, then why showcase it? Do you know what I mean? Well, that's absolutely right. But then even the guys who are doing leg day, you're like, wow, what the f- big fucking legs? Yeah, why calm you- down there, lad. Yeah, but also you're not gonna do leg day one time and get your big legs. No way, you've got to be doing that all it's the time. And who's doing that all the time? You've got to fucking, you've got multiple relationships. You're polyamorous. <laughs> yeah, you're busy, <laughs> right? But so I thought, and that was my really. I think that's where I realized, like, if I was in Germany. In the forty, I would have been a Nazi, because because <laughs> you were. I just do what's ever going on. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just follow the crowd, yeah. and we all do. And I actually get annoyed with people who are like, "Oh, if I was in Germany, no, I wouldn't have been." Of course you would. Everyone 
Well, I know I would have been. Yeah. I'm a Nazi now. It's not even cool. Yeah. <laughs> you just did it for fun. I'm just doing it That's for... Thing. Like, I don't think you can have an original thought. I think you go, oh, this is... But you're actually... Yes. You've seen a meme. That's right. You've you read it somewhere. Like, you can't just think I'm, of it. Yeah. That's... I'm uh, on which 100%. I have stepsons and yeah. they constantly tell you about the world and they're, they've are they just seen a meme. Like, the amount of times my steps, someone have been like, Barack Obama was like the most dangerous president of all time. He dropped X amount of bombs. And they're like, you've seen one meme. You've seen one meme. Go read some peer-led research and then come back to me and yeah. tell me that he's, you know what I mean? He, yeah. they, they, they think they that's how we all get our information. Such small snippets. You should tell, no one likes a smarty pants little cunt out of my face. I kicked him out. Kick him out. He's gone. Out the window. Kicked him out. Paralyzed. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Felicia. See you later. Yeah. Not even mine. Um, yeah, that's the best part. No, June, mm. that's terrible. I need to stop talking about them. Yeah. Um, I give them a hard time all the time on the podcast. It's not very fair. Did the young lad? Yeah, there's three of them. You have three step kids. Are they living with you? Yeah. The whole lot of them? Yeah. Well, what? no, one's now at university in Liverpool. Do you love them? They're like adults. Do you I love do them? love them. Right. That didn't sound cool. <laughs> no. Her face went into a scrunch. I date. No, of course, <laughs> like of course, like I love them. Smell the shit there. Of just course, I love do. them. You do love them, though. Yeah. 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 Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so bad, you know what I mean? Of course, I love them. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, on that note, yes. <laughs> is there anything you'd like to plug before we finish up? Um, I've got two podcasts that I do: Mike and Vittorio's Guide to Parenting, uh, where we do a uh, podcast every week, and another podcast called Big Mike and the Chief uh, is another one. They're both on all platforms, and then uh, and then just my Instagram at Mike Rice Comedy. I'll be posting stuff up there. At uh, my Christ, my Christ, or my Christ Mike. or Mike Rice <laughs> <laughs> the brain failed you at the last moment there sometimes you give throw up something and you're like brain give me something good and your brain's like no I'm just going to give you the exact <laughs> right <laughs> thing yeah 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 um, thank you very much for joining me on today's oh, podcast oh thanks for having me on it's that was been a, a pleasure laugh. what was your Instagram handle again at Mike Rice Comedy yeah the people can spell that that's dead easy can you spell it M-I-K-E-R-I-C bye <laughs> thank you <laughs>